know that it's the first time you've ever done this. It says, so when I start doing it, just tell me if it hurts <laughs> and I'll stop. But it looked ace when it were finished. Uh, full sleeve he had done. Oh, right. Absolutely brilliant. Hello. Good evening. What were you thinking of? Uh, don't ask me. Ah, uh, hello. You won't want me to answer. <sighs> hello. Is anybody there? <laughs> what? They're all there. We should get one of them squeegee boards one day, shouldn't we? And play play squeegee with them all. See if we can contact the dead people. You know, like squeegee. Like, a, <laughs> like all mean, the dead people. You mean Ouija? Yeah, squeegee board. <laughs> contact the dead people, the ones that watch like David's channel and stuff like that. Yeah. Hello, Kelvin and Kendall. Hello, you two. Uh, Ong. 3,040 jar shifted in three hours. Hope you have recovered. No. No, not yet. We are hurting like bitches, but there you go. My knees are killing me and his middle's killing him. Oh, uh, ooh. What? I don't know. It just seems a little bit shifty tonight. I've, I've got a feeling something shifty's going on. Really? Yeah, I think Ant and Deck are going to surprise us or oh, something. I don't know. God. Uh, Jenny Rose says, Hi, guys. Been looking forward to seeing you all day. Have you any idea the sort of life she leads? I know. You look at, just to look a bit jerky when you're doing that. I think that's where what? it is. Yeah, I think it, it, it's it, everything seems on a delay. Uh, where is David's photo, Sean? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Probably in the bin. No, it's laminated, and I think it's in for cleaning at the moment. Uh, ha ha Amy Water, ha Amy. Hey, mate. Yeah, Andy Waterhouse, even. Hello. <laughs> oh. Uh, Catherine, hi, honey. We're home. Hey. Hope you're both well. We've finished. It's about time. Justine Diamond's on as well. I don't know why you have a house, you. She's always bloody away. I know. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Scotty Gibson says, hi. Hope you've both had a lovely week. We have. Our whole week has been lovely, hasn't it? <laughs> it has. Uh, Jim Bone says, it's the Matrix. It is. It probably is, actually. It's probably my eyes, to be honest. Uh, Lynn Bishop says, 3,040 jars. How big are the jam pans? In, <laughs> in Japan, a country where they had that tsunami. Yeah, it is. Yes, yeah, it actually, is, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he thought I was going to say something inappropriate there. I did, yeah. Uh, Charlotte Atkinson says, hello. Hi. 
can you say hello to Dave, who is still at work doing hourly feeds on rescued wildlife, please? Ooh. We we could do with hourly feeds, couldn't we? You thought we were going to be rude again? He's on he's on them them things, aren't they? Tender hooks. Tender hooks. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Waiting. I've noticed my sister's on here as well. Uh, Swiss Simon. It's from Bristol. Says, uh, hi guys, weather is so rubbish, I watched the last two Saturdays house today. Well, I mean, we're not forcing you, are we? Don't <laughs> don't just watch us because the weather's a bit pap. That's a bit rude, isn't it? <laughs> if he would have stood at my front door, I'd shut the door on him. <laughs> and go and put my home and away videos on. I would. Uh, Skylar Dave says, uh, say smart speaker. We're not allowed, we got into trouble again. We, again? We're on a final warning now. I'm not allowed to say things like that anymore. Uh, I'm really not. And I'm not allowed to scare jump you either again because I got into trouble for that as well. Uh, Woohoo. Hello. Uh, sorry, we need to put some life into that. <laughs> Come on. Woohoo. Yep, there we go. Uh, we've been looking forward to seeing you two lovelies. <gasps> Lovely. Uh, Japan is in is in your kitchen, <laughs> says Mrs. Lady Corn. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so happy to see you this beautiful Sunday, says Trish Guthrie. Hello. Is she any relation to Gwen? She might be. She were a good singer, she wasn't was. she? She couldn't hit them high notes, but she were she were good at like at like songs that people can sing. Yeah. Didn't she sing There Ain't Nothing Going On But The Rent? She did. You've got to have a BJ Summer if you want to be with me. BJ, J-O-B. Is it? It's all letters to me, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Skylar Dave says, please. I've forgotten. <laughs> but there we go uh, Nick says hello guys hello uh, we've been working away in Ireland all week home now and been looking forward to watching you tonight need some light hearted fun well you're not going to get it on this channel <laughs> I'll tell you what we're, knack we're absolutely knackered aren't we yes I I've been making marmalade all morning he has uh, well up to about one o'clock wasn't it yeah uh, hello Dan Hello! Uh, Tammy says, me and Mrs. Ladycorn are currently travelling back from Edinburgh to Seaton Sands. Is it Seaton Sands or Seaton Sands? I think it's probably Seaton Sands. Uh, Jim Bone. Jim Bone. Is related to funny. Funny, I guess. Uh, the sun is out here in West Wales. It scared me. Forgot where it was. Yes, it doesn't come often now, does it? It doesn't come often. A bit like Santa, once a year. A bit like, <laughs> bit like you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, saying things like what, uh, like like things that smart speakers do. We're not allowed to do that anymore. No. On, and scare jumping, which is where you think you're watching something and then something else happens that makes you jump. We got into trouble for that. A lady emailed me because she lost a job. Well, not a job. <laughs> she lost a continence, but that made her lose a job. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're not allowed to do that anymore. Uh, Mark says, evening, lads. Congratulations on your series expanding all over Prime. All it's, over the world. It's like, Ish. it's like bacteria, Mark. It's yeah. going everywhere. It seeps everywhere. It is seep. That's a good... <laughs> oh, I don't like that word, seeping. Uh, evening, Alfie Barlow. Evening, Alfie. Hello to you. I hope you've cleaned your caravan roof. That one, manky. Oh, I haven't seen Twitter today. Uh, Denise says, uh, good evening. I think, I think I've got some. Hang on. What, bear with. We had an Amazon gift from Denise T. There we go. Look, enjoy your gift from Denise T. Thank you. Thank, do you want a kiss? There you go. Now lift your top up. <gasps> <laughs> You can't say that. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, Skylar Day says, please say a certain brand of smart speaker. You see, I'm one step ahead of you. Yeah. Skylar Dave. Yeah. Alexa, tell him to shut up. <laughs> uh, evening, Sharon Bamba. Hello, Sharon. Uh, 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 oh, well, yes, we've, we've got a ticket for you as well. Well, actually, we, we, we don't know if it is from you because it, it's the, this one's from Dabamba. Da Bamba. Uh, which we, we think might be a Mexican <laughs> relative. Or your husband. Didn't he sing a song? I'm going to sing that to you when, you when I see you at the wedding. We need one of them little guitars. I'm, I'm doing like I'm stroking a baby's head, aren't I? 
<laughs> what is that a euphemism for summer? Is it? I know, I know you pass a lot of babies' arms, but I didn't know stroking a baby's head were one as well. No. So what's stroking a baby's head? <laughs> what? Same sort of thing. Passing a poo. That's not that rude. What oh. are you holding your mouth for? <laughs> What's he holding his mouth for? So I don't shout out loud. That's not that rude, actually. Oh. Do, you, do you want to see a photo of Sean? And you've you've got to try and guess what you've got to try and guess what's going on. Oh, uh, what have you got? Are, are you ready for this? You've got to try and the clue. The clue. The clue is in the photograph, but you've got to look very carefully. And you, you've got to try and tell us what's going on in this photograph. <laughs> now, like I said, there is there is a clue in there somewhere, and I'm not talking about the cling film. He took that himself, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> yeah, he took his own cling film. So uh, what's what's going on in that photo then? Have a guess. I know. Dear. I know. Raheem's here. Super chat from Raheem. Thank you so much. Hello, Raheem. Hello, Foxes. Looking fantastic. Loving the new tattoo, Colin. Some donations for whatever you... Thank you. I will use it for Savlon. No, I yes. don't really use Savlon. I tell you what I really do fancy. I fancy some new beekeeping gloves, so I think I'll get some new beekeeping gloves with those. Nice. I keep going backwards and forwards, so it probably gets very, very quiet, and then it gets very loud like that. Uh... Peter and Sarah, hello. Hello, you two. Four in the morning. Again. Uh, great to see you gentlemen again. Oh, thank you. Good to see you two. Four in the morning. At four in the morning. Bit of morning wood going on there, I bet. Uh, Alistair Holes. Uh, hello, Colin <laughs> and Sean. How are you both this evening? Nice bird table, by the way. <laughs> what brought that on? What brought that on? <laughs> what? I'm laughing because of what just happened while I was laughing. What just happened? Did you hear it? No. Did you fart? Oh, Quite not loud. again. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, Gwen says, yeah, you don't want me singing. I may scare Sherlock and the hens and the pups. Oh. Shall, shall we have a look at, uh, at Sherlock, see what's going on? I think he's... Oh, he's there. He's there, look. Ah, they think we're going to scare them, you yeah, see. I told you, we're not allowed anymore. <laughs> We've been told off. We're not allowed to do it anymore. Uh, Annie Steele, hello. Good evening, Colin. Hello, Annie. Sean. Hope you're well. Also, Cal Davis, hello. That's a brilliant DJ name, is Cal. In fact, he's a DJ, look. Look at his photo. And I yes. didn't even know. Do you, yeah, there you go, you see. Uh, Lady of the Trillium. I always thought Trillium were a euphemism for something. Did you? Yeah. Like the second hole. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's so happy to have a free Saturday to spend a couple of hours with. It. Well, she was gonna until I said that. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she's, she's probably. Yeah, she's probably, probably gonna press dislike yeah, now. Yeah, she's probably watching that bloody James who's build, been building his own boat for six decades. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Shaky the gent. The banter is awesome from the pair of yous. How's Sean been with his wood this week? Thank God you can answer when I'm having a drink. Oh. <laughs> well, if you notice, I've, the bird table's up. It looks awesome, and the birds are loving it. Are they? They are. They keep coming and flocking round it and eating and brilliant. That's lemonade with an actual lemon in it, a whole juice of lemon. Lovely. Ah, it's refreshing. Uh, hello, Joanne. Hello, Joanne. Uh, oh, how's John? Toast and marmalade for supper, says Mackerel Cat. Ooh, lovely. Uh, Noddy Brown says, Darlings, how are you both? I'm knackered too. Shift's over and we can all cuddle up. Yeah. Shall we rub to shall we rub each other? Lots of friction. Lots of friction together. Is that a no then? Fine. Uh, Travelling Mike, hello guys, it's my birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Mark. Are you travelling? It didn't get a yes off that one. It didn't, no. it didn't get a yes, did it? Uh, Painted Man Tattoo says, uh, Evening chaps, fancy seeing you here. Fancy seeing you here. I saw you this afternoon. It's your arm all right. My arm's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. We were building in the tattoo studio earlier. Uh, Graham Morris says, Evening gents, got a cuppa and a bicky. Lovely. And a bicky. And I've a bicky. I've got a wee dram, but no bix no biscuits. Uh, Kaz Jake says, All on my own at the moment, feeling sorry for myself. 
but I have you two to relax and entertain. The best thing... Don't, How can you relax when we're on telly? Don't feel sorry for yourself when you're on your own because I find that you can do... Some of the... Some things are better done and more enjoyed when you're on your own. Like having a poo. No. He loves it when I go see my sister. I do love it because I can have a poo and I don't have to lock bathroom door. You don't have to lock it anyway, I don't come in. You've tried. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, things like having a poo, making beans on toast, that's easier when you're on your own because the toast don't go cold when you're making the second lot of toast. Stuff like that. Uh, Alfie says, yes, the roof looks brand new again. Awesome. That's brilliant. Give it well tomorrow. Uh, Sue says, hi guys, did you see the Northern Lights last night? No, the, they weren't out last night here. Not here. Uh, it was very poor. Yeah, cloudy, uh, all sorts. Angela Sales says, good evening. Uh, Skylar is still trying to get me to, to, to get smart speakers to, to do something, but there you go. Uh, Sharon Bamber says, ha, 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 ha. Uh, Dave sent the jam and I sent the glue. Sean's got absolutely no oh, yes, idea. Oh, yes, I know now, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah the tickets. My so, new, yes. My new favourite jam, which they sell on Amazon. It's on our wish list if you want to go in the video description and buy a couple of jars. Because uh, it's, it's only two quid. No, but it's really nice. It's vanilla and raspberry. It is. And then Sharon sent me some glue. No, it's for the beehives. That's it is. Why. Oh, do you remember when... Um, Gabby, what's her name's cat? Said she's having toast and marmalade for tea. It's the whiskey marmalade she's having. Is that Gabby? Mm hmm Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, right, okay. I, I, I know he, that. He, he did, but you know what his brain's like, Gabby. Uh, Denise says you definitely didn't, wouldn't want to... Shall we get rid of that and start again? Three, two, one. <laughs> Denise C says you definitely wouldn't want to see that. Got it right that time. There we go. Sean's gone again, says, uh, says great. He, he went... I always do. Years ago. Younger sister, I know, I know. You know what? Oh, you know the photo. Yeah, I, I, because he sent you the, the full photo, didn't he? Yeah, we showed you this photo and said, do you know what's going on? So so younger sister knows because I sent her that exact photo at exactly the same moment it was going on. Uh, Paul says you grabbed his nipple. Well, I, I, I do that a lot, Ugh. but I wasn't on that occasion. That's and not Colin's hand. No, that's not my hand, believe it or not. It's the second time I've said that today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sean's having a tattoo, says Suzanne. Uh, Brenda says he's having a tattoo. Lee Ma, I think he's having a nipple piercing. Oh, God, no. I've done that once before and I screamed the place down, never again. Can we again. actually see your nipple? We can't see your no, nipple. No, you can't. It, does, it wouldn't surprise me, though, if your nipple was up here. <laughs> <laughs> That wouldn't surprise me. You would look a bit freaky with nipples up near your shoulder blades, I would, wouldn't yes. you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, look who's on, Justin. Uh, Justine. Uh, you grabbed his nipple. No. Uh, Simon says, being tattooed. Uh, Justine says, oh dear, the gutter would be a step up for me. <gasps> Join us. Join us. Join us. It's brilliant down here. Uh, Gillian says, getting a tattoo. Uh, Corinne says, getting a tattoo. Uh, so does Crystal. Uh, spelt with a huh. That's good. Uh, getting his legs waxed. What, all the way up there? Uh, I don't think... I can't get my legs up that high. <laughs> he does go through a lot of clippers, but his panty line doesn't stretch all the way up to his neck, <laughs> does it? It does on your back, <laughs> but not on your front. <laughs> oh. uh, Nip Nipping says no. Sharon. Uh, Alfie says tattoo. Uh, Charlotte says tattoo. Black gloves getting a full flush out, says Vinny. No, it wasn't a colonic. Uh, I don't know. You, you, it's the same uh, face. It's the same face. Yeah, it's the same when face. You, when you have a colonic, innit? It's a funny colonic if his hands are on uh, my chest. Alistair Holes, Lady of the Trillium, saying get a tattoo. Uh, Thomas says Sean's having a bikini wax in Again, that it's not that far up. Again, yeah, same face. Unless, yeah, it is a really long wax strip. <laughs> in it oh, it's oh, back oh, sack oh, crack and nips oh, all in one strip oh can you can you imagine that uh, sean's having a tattoo done he's having his chest waxed uh actually no no, no he's, you, you're not very hairy on i'm your not chest, hairy you? i'm not hairy uh, lots of people thinking he's getting a tattoo done or 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 being waxed or or as i've been on the sauce all afternoon uh, we know Da Bamba is you. It's just funny, isn't it? <laughs> da Bamba. Da 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 Bamba. Uh, Kelvin and Kendall says, been looking forward to a blooming good laugh 
I've been prodded, poked, scanned and photographed and not in a good way. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, you've been three of them were in a good way this week, haven't you? <laughs> what photograph? Prodded, poked and photographed. And yeah. Well, is that he's giving me that shut up look? Oh, uh, Heather says uh, hello. How are you both? We good, thank you. We good, thank you, Heather. Uh, Colin, how is your tattoo healing since last week? It's healed very it's, well. Is that on camera? Yes, that's on camera. It's healing very well. I've had another one actually, but I'm not going to tell you about it because some of you are a bit na nasty, aren't you? Well, you can tell them about mine. I don't care. Do you know what we've had tattooed? We've had tattooed the date in Roman numerals that EastEnders started, <laughs> haven't we? No. We have. And then next week, I'm going back for the other one, and I'm having Ian Beale's birthday in Roman numerals. Do you want to know a funny fact about Ian Beale? Really? Yeah, you can actually buy an Ian Beale calendar on, on Amazon. Look. You are joking. <laughs> no, look. What <laughs> on earth? That's actually on Amazon. Look, Ian Beale 2024 Who calendar. Who would want to buy that? <laughs> oh my god, I thought I, I thought I thought we were bad. <laughs> Somebody disliked that. Somebody doesn't like Ian Beale. Uh, you can get some amazing stuff on 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 Amazon. You know, uh, I, I, I actually saw this for you because uh, I thought you might like this. Me? You, yeah, unicorn meat. Unicorn. Yeah, look, unicorn meat. Look at look at where it says about this item in the middle. Look at the bottom one. It's a dismembered stuffed unicorn in a can. <laughs> that's, just, that's just bizarre. In it. Bizarre. Oh, it gets worse than that. You can buy uh, urinal shot glasses. Who the hell want to drink out of one of them? People who like to drink wee. Oh, my God. They're, they're, you're out there. I know you're out there, aren't you? Uh, but the best thing I found on Amazon... Are you ready for this? Right. And we all laughed. We all laughed. I didn't laugh because I hadn't seen it. He did laugh. They exist. What? Beef curtains. No. Yeah, you can actually buy beef curtains. No. How cool is that? You can actually get different sizes as well, look. I, oh, my God. I fancy the 63-inch beef curtains. <laughs> it'll remind me of my mum. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You didn't know that, did you? But you weren't expecting that, were you? And if you don't like it, Amazon, because I know a lot of people don't like Amazon, you can buy them on Etsy as well. Oh, my God. Look at that. They're only £17.76 plus £98 postage and packing from Ukraine. Oh, look at that. Aren't they ace? That is awful. Yeah. Can you imagine rubbing yourself up against them? Oh, my God. Hey. And I found blue waffles. Why would you want blue waffles? Well, somebody told me to Google blue waffles, so I Googled it. There you go, you see? I don't know. No, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, everybody's talking and we're just completely ignoring them. Uh, Nico, hello. Nico's laughing. Uh, a Princess Albert. A Princess Albert? Excuse me, but I know what a Prince Albert is. Well, I know is. a Prince Albert goes through your whoop whoop, doesn't it? So, well, the Princess Albert must do the same thing. It might go through a beef curtain, it might do, yeah. Yeah, I've learned what it actually means, by the way. Now, uh, Philip is out says he's on a massage table. There you go. Uh, Chris Fowler says, First time I've caught you guys actually live, so I want to say hi. Hello, oh, Chris. Oh, hello. He's having his spine adjuster, says Sir Suzanne Bruchetta. Hmm. Uh, Jacob just became a member. Awesome. Hello. Look at Welcome that. Welcome to at, the club. Is that an actual dog or is that like a, a like a puppet? It looks like a stuffed toy. It does look like a stuffed toy, doesn't it? Uh, date of the wedding, says Lynn Bishop. Wow. If only people who are coming know that. That's right. Uh, wedding date, says Justine Diamond. It's not the wedding date either. Uh, no way, says Denise. Oh, you mean the, they're talking about this? Yeah, the yes, tattoo. Right. Yeah, that's why I said it's not the wedding date. No, it's not. Uh, Suzanne Bruchette, I love the new tattoo calendar. It looks fab and it looks a little red, but it's healing. Oh, yeah. Well, that one's only two days old. Yeah, we had them both done the same day. Uh, this one's a week old today, so this one's looking a little bit less red now. Yeah. And there's one on that side as well. Uh, evening, guys. Hello, Arcee! <clears throat> uh, my daughter's got those shot glasses, says Nick. Well, 
Of all the people that says that... Got, it, really? It doesn't surprise me that it's Nico. No, yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah. Unicorn meat. You have mini loose for your desk. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't... Uh, no. That they are very, very small. They are like... They're like, expensive. They are expensive, aren't they? I, I wouldn't buy them. Actual beef curtains. There you go, you see. <laughs> Alf is about to order some beef curtains. <laughs> uh, Swiss Simon says, Jesus. He won't help you. <laughs> <laughs> people are <laughs> crying beef curtains started early. Oh, people are loving the beef curtains. Blue waffles. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michelle says Michelle says my younger sister obviously you love me so much it's my birthday date but that's the same date as me oh I do love well, that stuff different year uh, to the Lumen back says can you wish my partner Graham a happy birthday for tomorrow he turns 70. I'll ignore the missing punctuation. Yeah. And yes, happy birthday, Graham. Happy birthday, Graham. Turns 70. Tomorrow, 70 years old. Catching you up, innit? He is. Uh, it's not the wedding date, says Justine. How lovely of you to commemorate the day I joined Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> we, do have, never... we do have that date, but it's not tattooed on our <laughs> chest. <laughs> uh, Alf is ordering beef curtains from his bell end. <laughs> Right. Before you start writing into YouTube, watch the week before last before you do that, and, and it will all make sense. Yeah, it will all make sense. Uh, Inver Coffee says, so it's not Dunnell Mill. Uh, Dunnell Mill I asked about beef curtains. It's my local butcher. Are you never at work? I thought you were supposed to work offshore, you. <laughs> People wishing Graham a happy birthday. Do you want to see a photo of my cock? There you go, look. Caught, Thank God for that. <laughs> I, caught, I caught him on the wildlife cam the other day. Yeah, he comes and sits in our garden with his wives. He likes to think he owns all our chickens. He does, he, yes. He kind, of, he kind of tries to mingle with them, doesn't he? Paces he paces up and down, doesn't he? Yeah. Outside uh, their coop. And his missus were, were right behind him, or one of his missus is us. Yeah, he's got a couple. He's got a couple on the go at the moment. Uh, that thing behind her, she hasn't just dropped an egg out of a beef curtain. It's that's, a stone. That's a stone, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. <laughs> What? He's laughing. He's laughing, and I don't know what he's laughing for because oh. if if you read the if you if you if you watched our socials, it it does say in the description for this live chat that I'm handing out an award tonight. Yes, I did see that. Did, I did. did you wonder what the award might be? I'm, I did. I did wonder. Yeah. Do, do you have you got an idea? <laughs> I've got no clue. Oh, well, Sean's won an award, so we we, we need to I give red to think. We need to is. give him a bit of a cheer. Yes. Uh, Sean's won an award. Uh, we, we have wardrobes in our house, but Sean's won an award for the amount of clothes he can leave by the side of his bed. Oh, you... They're me dirty clothes I should put in the bin. It don't matter. It don't matter. That's a disgrace. That's an absolute disgrace. And I'm now refusing to do your washing. <laughs> Unless you put them in the appropriate linen basket. <laughs> and if our friend Tom is watching, I'm sure he'll be absolutely spitting at the moment. He's not watching today, he's at work. Well, <laughs> he's, he he's might be watching on, on his phone. He's on shift. But that, that, is, that is just an absolute disgrace. And I'll tell you, like, it's an absolute disgrace. Is it not? I'll tidy it up. <laughs> you can read these comments. Oh, f <laughs> Stop. I'll go. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> leave your wallet. Leave your wallet. It's in them clothes. You're Sean a teenager now. Oh, well, you got competition, look. Uh, at least, I'm glad somebody's on my side. Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> uh, Lee Ray says, just had the lamb vindaloo while watching you guys. I think I'll have to put a bog roll in the freezer. Yes, you should do after a vindaloo. I don't, have I ever had a vindaloo? No, you wouldn't be able to stand it. Uh, As he says, please don't go. I'm not going. 
<laughs> uh, Brenda says, based on the chat comments and the pile next to my bed, I don't think Sean's even in the top ten with floor clothes pile. Thank you. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's a very minimalist floor drobe, says Stephanie. <laughs> oh, the tables are turning, are there? they? Uh, are. Jacob says, I'm curious, is the room you're in cosy? It looks like it. Yes, it's a studio. Yes, uh, it's, it's very warm in here. It's very warm and it's uh, it's very small. It's probably about four foot by four foot by six foot. It's full of computers. And it's full of computers. Uh, messy room, clean mind. Absolutely not, Brian. <laughs> oh, hang on, Brian. Have we got one for Brian? We have one for Brian. Thank you, Brian. Brian Yay. Gish sent us a little gift. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brian. I'd give you a kiss, but I've told I've been told you don't like it. All right. <laughs> uh, it's not so bad. You can still see the cap. It says uh, Hedda Jean. Is that his black shirt from last week's show? It pr actually, yes, right in the middle, right at the bottom. And that's how long it's been there, probably. No, it's it probably not. has. I had it on. I had it on the day after as well. You see, I don't have to get nagged at. Uh, Mitch says, uh, "Sean, worry not. It looks fine to me." I'm get. I'm getting a good impression of how you people live <laughs> tonight. See, Colin never throws fl clothes on the floor. Dear. See. <laughs> Go on, keep the guests entertained see, while I'm. He never does it. Well, no, keep the guests I entertained. Can't, I need the mouse. Alistair Hull says he feels sorry for me. Why he does he feel sorry for you? I don't know, but he just said he did. <laughs> no, don't show that. Why not? Because it looks a, it's a mess. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I've got our bedroom up on the security camera. But, come on, you've got to admit there is no clothes on the floor on my side. There was earlier. No, is there now? There was earlier. Is there now? Is there any clothes on the bedroom floor on my side of the bed? No, there is. But no, there earlier. isn't. No, there isn't. That's all people need to know. Uh, you've got blue lights and foam and everything. We have. We have. Uh, uh, Emmeline says it's like living with a teenage boy. I am a teenager. Alistair Holes feels sorry for Sean. Thank you. Uh, Jane says, Sean, you need to give Colin some sort of award now. <laughs> oh, no, what have I started? <laughs> Was the washing basket full? We'll wait full? next week. No, the washing basket is, is never full, is it? No. Uh, you're regressing, regressing to your teenage years. I am. Uh, evening, I had uh, had living eggs delivered this week at work. All ten hatched. It's so amazing. Wow, brilliant. That's, wow. that's unusual for them all to hatch. Isn't it? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Ladycon says, back soon, just getting off the bus. <gasps> She's been watching us on the bus. We didn't get that the message earlier, did she? Where she says she was coming on the bus. It must have been a very wobbly, rocky road, wasn't it? Stop it. Lots of potholes. Stop it. I'm not stopping it. You sure up. <laughs> uh, Lee Ray says, Sean, just an idea, but have you thought about doing chilli jam? Uh, no, not thought about it yet. Um, but we're going to wait until... I mean, if I'm making any jam, it's probably only going to be strawberry when we have our strawberry crop. Because fruit to buy is too expensive to make jam with. Unfortunately. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to press that. At least it was the audio and not the not the video. There you go. So no, no is 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 the short answer. Uh, Nico sees boxers. Uh, Suzanne says my son's far worse. The, uh, that's only one pass with the shovel to pick it all up. <laughs> shovel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Heather B says it's been a lovely day in the West Isle it's been freezing here it's been cold here Heather uh, Ryan says uh, don't worry Sean I do it with my work clothes Th they, those were my work clothes well apart from the shirt I mm. uh, wonder if Blakey was in the bus what's she talking about I think she's pissed what's she talking about I think she's drunk uh, <laughs> I'd buy chilli jam Sean yeah it's, it's supposed to be nice I've never had it myself but uh, Gwen Guthrie says, teasing us with Colin's bin music. I can actually tease you with Colin's bin if you want. <laughs> Shall we do it? Shall we play it now? It's a bit early. It is a little bit early, isn't it? But We can play it now if you want. Shall we? Shall we play what's in Colin's bin or shall we watch Sean's fat ball swinging really slowly? 
Ecco. That's sexy, isn't it? <laughs> I got a right semi when I was making that. <laughs> Do you want to watch that again? Not particularly, you don't no. Want to, no? Sean's fat balls. Oh, I could watch that all day. Isn't it chilling? Don't you think? There's no. something quite hypnotic about watching his balls swinging in slow motion like that, isn't there? <laughs> don't you think? You look just. I don't you, know what to say to that. He looks completely lost, doesn't he? You see, this is the thing because you always tell me to shut up, but all you got to do is read the comments. I know. The People. Cr- yeah, but they're all crackers. I just just spat his drink out, so it's crackers. Give it a couple of years, Alfie, you'll be swallowing it. Uh, Trish says, ball. <laughs> uh, As is liking it. Uh, no, wait a little bit more. Oh. Uh, Patricia's liking it. Uh, do you know what I'd make a fab wedding favour? A jar of honey or jam at each place? Are you paying for it? I know, it's expensive stuff. You'll, you'll get a love art and that's it. <laughs> uh, Graham's liking it. Brenda's liking it. Uh, some weight in them balls, says Kelvin. No, no, bear with. Bear with. Oh, it's at the top. There we go. Thank you so much. Come on, focus your daft cow. There you go. Thank you so much. It says it's the bee's turn this week. And it, it is. It was. It was the bee's Thank turn. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have two of those. One hangs out the front and the other hangs out the back. Well, yours do when it's really cold, don't they? <laughs> They're in my neck. Uh, Nico's still laughing. She's, I don't know what started her off now. They're in my neck if it's cold. Uh, Denise is laughing. Sharon's laughing. Uh, Claud- <laughs> Claudia's swallowing. Uh, Alfie says, that's definitely you can't say that. <laughs> We're going to have to get him on one day, aren't we? We are. We're going to have to get him on one day. Uh, Tom says, they are fat. Now I know why Sean's wearing an undergarment on an underkilt. Uh, Jennifer Sherwood says, evening, gents. I didn't realise how big Sean's balls were. There we go. Look, look at them swinging. Oh, Whoa. Dear to me. the left. To the right. To the left. To the right. It really is hypnotic. Oh, but in, in answer to that um, undergarment thing, I have to because of prostate cancer. She does. Uh, Alfie, right, says Claudia. I'm sure there's something going on between them two. I do. Yeah. Uh, Katie, Katie, hey, guys. Uh, how have you been doing? We has been doing well, thank you. Is we the, have, Katie. Is the tattoo on your chest, is it the day you first met? It isn't. No. I told everybody, it's the day EastEnders started. <laughs> What? No, it's not. No, it, well, it might not be. Uh, how many? How many what? I don't know. Nine. Eight point six inches. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, go on, you can do this one. So and Kev, hello, my gorgeous fagag. <laughs> my faghag. Uh, evening foxes. Sue says, "Cole, you're right. Sean's a tramp." I bet he didn't leave your house like that, did he, when no, he I stayed didn't. at yours? No, I didn't. I bet he kept you awake with his snoring. No, I didn't. I had my snore thing in. In fact, I bet Sue kept you all awake with her no, snoring. No, those two kept each other awake with snoring. Did they? <laughs> well. <laughs> Is it true Kev's got a lathe and workbench in his bedroom? <laughs> it's big enough. Is it? Yeah. Uh, Trish says, mesmerised by those swinging balls. I was going to play him again. Oh, here we go again. People, I'm not playing it again. I just you had, I, your, you had your mouse over it to click on it. I says I was going to play it again, but people are getting sick of it. Day of the wedding? No, it's not the day of it's the wedding. It's not the day of the wedding. It's the day EastEnders started. Nobody's noticed that Sean's got five balls. There is another video of me nibbling on Sean's fat balls. <laughs> YouTube have already told me that's definitely a no-no. <laughs> oh. It's a good job you don't see the scripts for these shows, isn't it? It is, because I would rip like, them up. It'd be there with its black sharpie. Go, All your notes. Uh, oh, I forgot, says that Nico. Happy fifth anniversary. To foxes of well, it's it's not the fifth. It's the fifth anniversary of us telling our old bosses to go shove the jobs up their ass, isn't it? It is. That's that's what today is. Uh, you the, were your own boss. Yeah, 
Well, I was. I was in the gym, but I wasn't at the radio station. No, you weren't. Uh, 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 Alien from Mars says, uh, nibbling on the balls. Uh, Alf, Alf is laughing at something. Alfie laughs all the time. Uh, we are so naughty, uh, we can't say... Well, I, I, I don't understand what is so naughty about nibbling on Sean's fat balls. Do you? It it They taste very suety, <laughs> don't they? What? Well, what are they made of? What are they made of? <laughs> what are they made of? <laughs> your balls, your fat balls are made of suet, so why, <laughs> why, why is it funny that they taste suet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, oh. Crystal says that laugh so hard I almost peed myself. Oh, I have. <laughs> uh, and she and she's like uh, Nico likes a fat ball now and again, uh, not chocolate salty balls. Andrew, <laughs> Dif- different program that one. Uh, hi, my favourite couple from the west coast of Canada. And uh, Fenella says as he'll be playing with red balls from next weekend. Huh? I have absolutely no idea what that means. I think I broke it. Don't jiggle it about too much. I think I've broken it. They're still cheering. Hello. I like this because it sounds like you're in a railway station toilet. Uh, hello and welcome to the latest edition of What's in Colin's Bin. I'm sitting back for this. See what the see what these bright sparks come up with. Because it's it's rubbish every week they come up with. I went into B and M wearing this jacket on Thursday. <laughs> Gets attention, I tell you that. Uh, welcome to What's in Collins Bin. Uh, so, if you don't know, oh, you something. It looks like a reflection of my jacket, but it wasn't. I nearly gave the game away. Then this is going to be a quick one. Uh, welcome to What's in Collins Bin. If you can guess what's in Collins Bin, you can win either a delicious jar of Sean's lovely delicious marmalade, or. A photo book. You can. And this week's photo book is from the Proclaimers, isn't it? <laughs> no. It's called Leith in the Rain. No. Uh, no, it's not. It's one of our photo books. Uh, so how do we play it? Okay, this is what you have to do. You have to ask questions. And I can only answer, we can only answer yes or no. All right? Don't try and guess where it is without answering a question because I'll lose me temper. We don't want it that, will. do we? I keep picking sequins off this, and it's going to be. I'm going to end up with a little bald patch down there. Right, so uh, let's. You look after that. Uh, so let's play. What's in Colin's bin? Uh, right, where are we? Uh, is it? Is right? No. So blah blah blah. Is it egg shaped? Says Andy Waterhouse. No. Uh, is it a Freddo wrapper? Uh, no. Uh, is it glass? Uh, yes. Uh, is it a glass honey jar? Uh, no. Is it yelp? I'm sorry, it jumped. Is it yellow? Uh, No. Is it edible? Uh, Yes. Is it a toy train? Uh, No. Uh, Is it metal? No. Mm. Uh. Ish. Ish. Is it round? No. Is it a nutcracker? No. Is it plastic? No. Is it edible? Yes. Do you both use it? No. Is it glass? Yes. Is it a wrapper of something? Uh, no. No. Is it reflective? No. Is it glass? Yes. Is it a mirror? No. Is it a toy? No. Did you get it from B&M? No. <laughs> Is it from the special cupboard? It's not. Dave, you ask that every week. <laughs> does it taste of orange? It does. Is it a shot glass? It isn't. Does it tick? Uh, no. As it, is it a gloss lump shade? Lump shade? I think he means no, glass lump shade. Is it a candlestick? It isn't. Is it marmalade? It is. It is marmalade. Well done. <laughs> Wendy Murray. And it's in a new... Nobody can hear you because people are cheering and music's playing. Oh. Now they can hear you. It's this in is, our new jazz. This is jar number one. Our new marmalade. 
if you are if you are a Patreon or a YouTube member, you will already know that our new marmalades are just about ready. Uh, the jars have arrived. You can tell it's the same. Well, you probably saw the other day that the jars have arrived, all bloody 3,040 of them. Not all for marmalade, by the way. Uh, They're for honey as well. They are for honey as well, because we're using the same sort of labels. Uh, if you're a pat Like I said, if you're a Patreon or a YouTube member, you will have seen the labels already. Uh, but this is the new jar. We're doing it in four flavours. We are. But you can't buy it yet, so I don't know why we're going on about it. This is just what's in Colin's bin. It's just what's in Colin's bin. Uh, but yeah, well done. Wendy Murray, it is marmalade. Uh, so you need to send us an email uh, to uh, this address. There you go. Let us know whether you want a, a jar of marmalade. It won't be that one because we haven't got a label for it yet. It won't yet. be in this jar. It'll be in a, in a different type jar that I've already got jarred up for the honesty box. Uh, so you will get one of that similar. So send us an email, uh, let us know whether you want a jar of marmalade or a photo book, and we'll get that sent off to you. Uh, if you are in the UK, you can have either. If you're outside the UK, you can only have a photo book. Yes. Because the authorities don't like it when we send food abroad. They get a bit snippy. They do. Uh, snip, snip, snip. But email us, let us know your address, let us know which one you want, and we will get that off to you. Uh, if you want to buy some marmalade, it'll be ready in a couple of weeks. And don't worry, we will tell you all about it. When it starts. Uh, we will tell you all about it once it starts. Yeah. Wendy Murray, well done. Congratulations. Well done. There's quite a few. I've got it right, but it was all after that Wendy. Actually, that, that actually went a lot quicker than I thought it would. It went better. No, I thought it were a woman. It's actually a bloke. Uh, hello! We are back. We're back. Uh, so of course, everybody after Wendy Murray saying it was marmalade. So well done to Fenella. Uh, also to Tim. Also to Hayley. Uh, let's have a look who else got it. Nico got it. Christy. Uh, let's have a look. Let's keep going. Uh, Michelle is still asking questions. Can you put it on press? <laughs> <laughs> She's so... She's always been a bit slow. Uh, Suzanne got it. Uh, Al got it. Uh, Gwen got it. Sorry, I keep calling you Gwen. Uh, Angela got it. Uh, Jane then got it. Uh, and then people start congratulating <laughs> Wednesday. And Wendy says, yeah, hi, one, fantastic. I'm surprised nobody said beef curtains. I am. Because uh, one day I am going to put beef curtains in there. Oh, God help us. What? Uh, Suzanne says, uh, oh, is there a pre-order of marmalade that can be picked up around the time of a special event? Uh, I am sure that... Uh, I'm sure we'll be able to organise that. I am sure that uh, that, that will be... That will yeah, be I'm sure available. we'll be able to organise that, but we'll, we'll, we'll when we get closer to the event. Mm. Uh, Graham says, is it plastic? <laughs> <laughs> have, have you just woken up, Graham? Jim says, is it Marmite? That's not orange. It's not orange, is it? Oh dear. Shall we show him a picture of my cock again? There we go, look. It's a really nice cock, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Sean's giving me that look as if to say, shut up. And it's it's probably the second reddest cock head I've ever seen as well. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a cock head as red as that before. Have you? <laughs> You've got to stop. <laughs> What am I actually saying that's wrong? You've got to stop. Uh, Suzanne's getting excited. Uh, your goods would be a decent way to fund your wedding. Well, unfortunately, there's not a lot of money in marmalade. No, there isn't. We just make it because we like it, to be honest. Yeah. We, we only make about a quid a jar on it, so uh, so, so we're not going to make much on that. Uh, I kept thinking your live chat was being interrupted by adverts. It, 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 you should get one about every half an hour, I think. Mm. Uh, will you have more, more more honey by the time... Of, well, well, we won't have more money by the time of it because we're skint now. Uh, will you have more honey by the time of the wedding? Uh, uh, we hope so. Well, yeah. No, I don't think we, we won't... I don't I don't think we'll have any heather honey. We won't have heather honey because it's a bit early in the season. We might we might have some... Wildflower. Wildflower, but we don't know yet because it's just so bloody cold and wet and miserable at the moment. We don't even know if we're going to get any wildflower honey. We don't even know if we're going to have any bees left by the end of the month. No. Uh, Noddy says, my boyfriend's head is redder than that. <laughs> why is it, why is, why is it that funny? But when I say it, I get nipped and told to leave it. I don't get that. 
naughty. Why is that naughty? <laughs> Uh, evening to you uh, both. Uh, hope you are both well. Sorry I'm late, says Anne Christine Hawkes. There you go. Is your cat all right? Oh, who's on? Nobody. There is. There's nobody there. I know there isn't, but there's going to be. There's going to be. Who is it? <laughs> You're going to have to wait and see. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? That's no, the, I don't. That's the thing. We have a guest in a few minutes, uh, probably in the next ten minutes or so. Uh, I don't know who it is. Assy says maybe you should get a checkup. <laughs> oh, I've drunk my drink. Do you want another one? I'll get, well, I'll get you one later. No, I'll be up all night dancing. Okay, dancing. Uh, greetings from Thailand, lads. Uh, keep Hello, up, Russell. Keep up the good work. We will, we will do that. Uh, Phil Whelan says head in hand. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, I think Sue's singing. You forgot to, you forgot to say what's it all about. I'll be back. Uh, Nico said, oh, we've got them going now. Nico says, oh, a guest. I hope it's Michelle. Well, I have surprised you with your sister before, haven't I? Yeah, you have. Mind you, she did spoil it about half an hour before. She, she, can't, she can't hold her own tongue. I wondered where that were going, though. <laughs> she can't hold her own water. Uh, Dave T says, tattoo question, do you both have the same date? We do. We do, because... EastEnders started on, on a date. <laughs> Why would we have different dates? Oh, you're going to have to put them out of their misery. Uh, what you mean by ending the chat? Yeah. Uh, Noddy Brown says, uh, as long as there's no nasty discharge. Well, uh, it actually, it, 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 when, when you look again, the, 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 that cockhead looks really quite healthy, doesn't stop it? it? I'm not going to stop it. People, stop can hear, it. people can hear you whispering, stop you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kelvin Jones just became a member. Thank Excellent. you, thank are, you, Kelvin. Are the bees going? Are the bees getting out, or is it too cold? Oh, they're sort of in and out, in and out, in and out, aren't they? It's, yeah. Some days they don't come out, and yeah, it's it's not good. Mm. Oh, I've got an earpiece to put in. Uh, I still don't know who the guest is. Shaky the gents says, I've started a, a, to write a book on how not to fall down the stairs. It's a step by step guide. Don't give up the day job, Shaky. God, I can hear laughing. Don't know why they're laughing. Uh, I think Ruth's on a delay because she says they are mighty fine swinging balls. Uh, big thanks to Zoe White for doing the locks. At least, hey. at least send us a video. Uh, so Tina says the two paramedics sat with me have just subscribed to you they can't stop laughing at you I told you it's that face it's that, you should wear a mask a rubber mask the two paramedics we should come on one night wearing gimp masks oh god that would be funny wouldn't it I've actually thought about getting a, a latex mask really yeah of an old man oh right I thought you meant like Oh, no, 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 no. To play with. No! All right. They are wiped clean as well, aren't they? So you don't have to throw them at washer. Uh, none of us women can hold our water when we get to a certain age. Well, you found that out, haven't you? I'm the same, Nico, after my operation for cancer. Mm. Uh, Nico, no. Nico, Nico no. Nico, no. Nico, no. Uh, they're just talking together, these people. All oh, right. Uh, Lazar says, I recall seeing Drew Pritchard at the castle you are getting married on on an episode of The Salvage Hunters. Okay. I have no idea who that is. I don't know who Drew Pritchard is. Uh, Graham says, is it Bovaril? <laughs> it's not Bovaril or Bovaril. Uh, Trish says, uh, uh, sorry, Gwen says, uh, Tattoo, is it Justin Bieber's birth? No, it's the day EastEnders started. Absolutely not. Uh, is Justin Bieber your guest? He wouldn't be an online guest. He'd be sat right under here. <laughs> what? He would. Would he? He would. He would in have your, a, In he, your dreams. He would have a Woody as well. <gasps> uh, Jane says, shake up. Shake up. Is it the date that of the first time you said I love you? No, because the first time you said it, you'd 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 been on the perno, aren't you? And it was more like, oh, I really love you. <laughs> Gives a feel. <laughs> Gives a feel. That were on the bus. We were on the bus at home as well. <laughs> uh, Jane says shaky. That should say. I, I, 
get lost. I get, and then I feel I'm rude. lost with that. I do, and then I feel rude for not understanding. Phil's laughing at something. Yeah, I know. Uh, Andrew says I'm at the age where it's difficult to hold my water. It keeps trickling through my fingers. You're holding it wrong. I think he is holding it wrong. Uh, Nico says uh, Willie's. She's laughing at Willie. She's laughing at somebody's Willie. I know it's not mine. Is it? Hang on, just. No, it's definitely not mine. Uh, oh, Colin. Huh. A lot of people say that as well, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Colin. <laughs> is it the date you first met? Why is everybody obsessed with our new just tattoo? Just tell them. It's the day EastEnders started. Uh, Suzanne says, tattoos of each other's names over your hearts. No, uh, no. It's that, a date. That would be so sweet. Well, it would come in handy because you're a bit forgetful now. <laughs> I don't and call you anything else apart from Colin. It would stop that really unfortunate incident from ever happening again <laughs> where you were making your way back up one day and called me Keith. Keith? <laughs> yeah. Who the hell's Keith? That's what I've, I've been asking for four years. <laughs> Uh, Sandra says, hello, sorry I am late. Chair pulled up and drink to hand. Oh, that's what we need, a drink. Do you know what I hate about people that are late? <laughs> love them. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. Uh, Kim says, oh, lovely to see you guys. Yes, Perno gave me a few morning afters. Oh, I, only do I got drunk on it once. Never, ever, ever again. And that was, I was, I think it was a... 18. I'll say 18, because yeah. that's the legal age. Rough. But I might have been younger. Rough stuff. Uh, Alistair Hull says, camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. Always works, doesn't it? Not for me, because I never know when you're going to click it. Camera two, camera one. You don't know when I'm going to click it, do you? Uh, I think I know who the guest is. Do you? Yeah. Who? Because the person's gone very quiet. All right. She has, hasn't she? Uh, Swiss Simon, is it? She's trying to work out how to how to click a link. There's like one link. All she has to do is like click the link, and and yeah. Uh, Swiss Simon says, is it a future date? Nope. No. It's the day you stand to start. Uh, date you met? No. Date you got married? Well, we ain't got married yet, really. Is it the date of foxes afloat? Nope. Uh, did you watch the first episode of EastEnders? I we did, yeah, because yeah. it's the one where Doctor Legan. What's his name? Pete Beale burst into uh, that old man's flat and he was dead, wasn't it? Correct. I think that was it, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Is it the day? So, we're not telling you. It's his anniversary. <laughs> it's the day we moved in together. It's the day we moved in together. Uh, our narrow boat question is, is the tattoo your use by date? <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> we might have that on the other tip, might we? <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's where it is, isn't it? We've got one on one tip. We can have one on the other. That would be. That actually would be good, because you could like, you know, yeah, you know how, uh, you know how you get like used by dates on bottles yes. and to put it around the lid. Yes. That's what we could have on our nipple. We could have it around the. What's it called? There's a name for it. The the skin around the nipple, the round bit. Alioli. Ariola. Alioli. Alioli? Yeah. That's, that's, that's garlic mayonnaise. Yeah, is it? <laughs> Alioli. Yeah. I could I could have a, you could have his birthday as around me Alioli. What round your garlic mayonnaise? Around me garlic mayonnaise. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. Can we carry on <laughs> Can we carry on talking about this? It's their fault, it's Eileen. It's Eileen, she's a she's a bad influence. She is getting me to touch myself on national television. <laughs> <laughs> be gone, be gone, be gone. No, come back, come back. Now be gone again. Is it the date you first got down to it? Uh, oh, no. I can't remember the first day. It were in black and white. I remember <laughs> that. Do you? I remember, I remember being... The instructions in... were on a slate. Yeah, I remember being in bed and, and kind of, for the very first time, putting my hand down there and thinking, ooh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gave you a black eye, didn't I? <laughs> All I did was get out of bed for a wee. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. 
<laughs> oh dear. Oh god. Uh, I've got a date now. <laughs> Oh dear me! Instructions on a slate. Oh dear. <laughs> well, we didn't we didn't get much education on that sort of thing at school, and they didn't have TikTok back then, did they? No, they didn't. No. <laughs> Nico is dead. <laughs> uh, are, are, are is the word. Ah, right, yeah. Not alioli. I thought grease, garlic mayonnaise. I, I thought grease was the word. <laughs> is it not? Grease is the word. There you go. You see, uh, as he says, love you guys. Uh, I don't know where the guest's gone. I thought the guest was uh, was coming by now. What if you're watching guest? Uh, he might be having a, a bit of an issue. I don't know. So <laughs> click the know. button. I'm just <laughs> okay. Sean knows who it is now. I knew who it was anyway because he, the, they've gone quiet. <laughs> uh, where are we? Oh my goodness! I can't breathe. You. <laughs> Is the tata what? God, oh, are these people on a delay or what? Uh, who ticked? Been drinking. Who ticked and who talked? I don't. I don't get that. I do. Dear, tell me what that means. I'm going to put you all on on mute for a minute. Uh, no, Sean. Sean was the tea bagger. <laughs> what? Backer. Our guest has arrived. He's drinking, and I can see him drinking already. Uh, I think he's. I think he probably needs a bit. Uh, well, he probably needs a bit of Dutch courage. I think he. he I think he's, he. He's not on air yet. He, he might think. He might thinks he needs a bit of Dutch courage, but I'm. I'm actually dreading this more than he probably is. Shall we? Shall we? Shall yeah, we, let's get. Let's get him on. Shall we? Shall we get the guest on? Okay. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Are you ready for this? I am. Are you ready for this? Alfie! Alfie Ballo, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> how are you doing, mate? No, I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, we're pretty good, mate. I was. I, I, I've got to. I've got to be honest, Alfie. I'm a little bit disappointed that you're not wearing the colon and Shane jumper. <laughs> <laughs> At home, I forgot it. <laughs> so, so which which of the like seventeen caravans that you own are you at today? Number two. <laughs> are you in Skeggy? Yeah, the other one yeah. just in front of me. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, uh, so how many caravans have you actually got? <laughs> three. You've got three <laughs> caravans. <laughs> you you probably I don't know if you can see the chat wall, Alfie. But it is literally, you'll have to watch this back. All it is, is just like people screaming, Alfie! Alfie! You're famous, mate. You're famous. Wow. <laughs> I think we're scaring him. I'll tell Alfie. you what, mate. They love you. I think we're scaring oh. him. Uh, Nico says, oh, my God, Alfie, I'm going to, I'm going to Skegness. <laughs> She's coming to Skegness on Monday. Uh, I'll Thomas. Be on, <laughs> Thomas says, Alfie, you are exactly as I pictured you. And then it's just literally people screaming, Alfie, so Sue and De, De Bamba. Uh, Katie Katie says, hey, Alfie. Uh, Scotty, Gibson, Scotty Gibson says, I was in Skegness yesterday. What are you drinking, Alfie? Cider. Cider? <laughs> thought, thought I, I, bet you've, I bet you've had a few pints, haven't you, before you came on here? <laughs> Might have done. <laughs> Awesome, mate. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Nico says, we love you, Alfie. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Lady Unicorn says, yes, yes, we love you. Everybody's saying they love you. Corinne Hansen says, we love you. Oh, I dear me. You. you need to start your own YouTube lives, but not on a Saturday night at seven. <laughs> <laughs> Please, not on a Saturday night. This no. is all we've got left. <laughs> Don't check it all our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. He's all right. He's all right. He, yeah. he won't remember any of this tomorrow morning. He won't. Will he's he? going to have to watch it back to no. remember it because he, he's rat ass, I can tell. <laughs> I'll have to, yeah. 
<laughs> Kelvin and Kendall says we can't wait to meet you, Alfie. Because I think they're going to the wedding. They're going to the wedding, yes. So, so, uh-huh. so, are you are you coming to our wedding then? Yeah. He is. Excellent. Are you gonna Are you gonna be my? Uh... Are you bringing your brother, or are you gonna dump him in Inverness? Dump him. Because <laughs> you can bring him if you want. I don't think he'll come. Don't yeah. He'll probably be somewhere else. To be honest, it, his brother will probably be freaked out when the Alfie Barlow fan club arrive on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's our wedding, and all we're going to hear is like people screwing Alfie. It's gonna... Alfie's going to be so nervous when he walks up to that bus. <laughs> it's going to be like when we first went to Crick, isn't it? And people were just circling us. Oh, God, yeah. And that's, that's what it's going to be like now. We're scaring him now. Let's not scare it. It's going to be absolutely fine, Alfie. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> You'll be awesome, mate. So, right. So, just uh, just to make us feel old, and and to and to kind of, because we we had a bit of a disagreement about this last week. How old are you, Alfie? Nineteen. It's nineteen. I said about nineteen. He said 20. about nineteen. And how old were you when you started following Foxes of Flow? Twelve. <laughs> that makes me feel so old. Oh. I just want to die now. Why? It's not that bad. Oh, my God. I am old. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. A photo. I'm only about seven years older than you now. Uh, you keep I him talking. I've, I've, got, I've, <laughs> I've got something to... I've got not a bad back already. <laughs> you what, mate? I've got a bad back already. You, have you? What, at 19 years old? Yeah. I think I was climbing up and down that caravan roof. Oh, it's on yesterday's memories. On my on our Facebook memories yesterday, uh, you one of your posts on Foxes Afloat came up from years ago, of yeah. the drawing that you did of the boat of Silver Fox. Yes. Do you remember that? Yes, I just. About that was an that. awesome picture. And it came up. It actually came up on our on our Foxes Afloat. Uh, memories yesterday, as because uh, you did one for Boating Dave as well, didn't you? You did one of his boats. Yeah. A snow goose. And then I did another version of Silver Fox. I got at home. Oh, yeah, you got them pinned up at home. Yeah, I got two of them now at wall. Brilliant. People are going mental. Uh, Sharon Bamba says, See you at the wedding, Alfie. I'm getting a t shirt made. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Painted Man Tattoo, we're only going to the wedding to meet Alfie. <laughs> Uh, Stephen says Alfie can be our page boy. <laughs> he doesn't look impressed by that. Does he doesn't look impressed by that one, no. <laughs> uh, Jennifer Sherwood says, "Can I ask, has Alfie got his Alexa switched off?" No, it's in the car. All right, <laughs> he uh, did put it on. I planned it. Trish says, uh, abs- <laughs> "Alfie, absolutely adorable." Uh, Suzanne says, "Alfie, I don't love you." But I can't wait to meet you in August. <laughs> uh, Phil says Alfred the Great. Uh, Jane says like the curtains. Just t- t- remind us how long it took you to put those curtains up, Alfie. Two hours. <laughs> Two hours. Yeah. I take it there was no instructions. No. <laughs> I think he was on the first batch of that side. Maybe. I think he yeah. probably <laughs> was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fenella says Alfie looks like a nice young man. Uh, don't, don't be fooled. <laughs> don't be fooled. Uh, Kaz Jake says lovely to put a face to Alfie. He's not drunk. He's just shy. No, he's drunk. No, he's, he's drunk. drunk he's you, definitely Alfie. drunk. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Katie, Katie says nineteen, and you own how many caravans? Three. It's awesome, mate. If you like caravans, that's it. That's what you do, isn't it? Uh, Trish says the wedding is actually just a formality for people to get to meet Alfie. It is, yeah. Uh, Thomas says, ask Alfie, what is he wearing to the wedding? Ah, that's a good question. Hmm. Are you wearing a suit or a kilt? A suit. Yay! Yay! Uh, Esther says, hey Alfie, see you at the wedding of the year. Uh, Aaron says, top lad is Alfie. Mitch was three when we started watching Foxes Afloat. Now he's 27. <laughs> oh no, eight. 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 Sorry, eight. Uh, Wendy, Wendy Evans says, go Alfie, proper Sheffield lad. Yes, it's a proper Sheffield accent, that. Uh, and Suzanne says, Al- Alfie is seven years younger than my son, so I may be 
hovering in mum mode this summer. <laughs> I've, we've actually we've actually sat him on the, on the on the boat tubers table. Yes, we have. Uh, so he's going to be surrounded by boat tubers. Yes, you're going to be sat with uh, Pat and Eileen, Fran and Rich. Shh. Well, you've told him now. Shh. Not David. Not. <laughs> And there's a couple of others there, isn't there? We invited him, and we got the invite back in in pieces, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> chewed up, <laughs> chewed up pieces. Yeah, yeah, chewed up pieces. But it, it also it also looked and smelt like he'd eaten them and passed them. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I don't think it, we're not we're oh, not reserving dear. his table anyway. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Suzanne says, "Can I sit at the table near the door?" Yes, uh, you can, Suzanne. Yeah, you can. Uh, does Alfie need a bodyguard for the wedding? It probably does. And is the we'll wedding security that. is the wedding security to protect <laughs> Alfie? Yes. Alfie definitely needs to set up a YouTube channel. He does. Yes, he would be very, very popular. He's going to have so many fans. Are you all right, mate? Yes, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> he's, be he's bearing up. He's just throwing more cider down. His yeah, head. he's just there's not enough cider. <laughs> is it? I forget about this. <laughs> That's it, yeah. That's oh. what you do when you're 19, you just drink. Drink, drink, drink. He'll wake up in the morning and think, I had this really weird dream that I were on Fox's live chat last night. I'm going to have to check, see if I were. Watch it back. <laughs> right then, mate, we're going to let you go and finish your cider. Uh, is it is it one of them ciders we were on about? What? Uh Oh, what were it? Dick Insider. Do you remember that? <laughs> I don't want to start him off laughing because he might be sick. He's had so much to drink. I can try it. <laughs> <laughs> on, on that note, uh, Alf is going to go see. Uh, Alf is going to go see if he likes some Dick Insider. <laughs> <laughs> Alfie, mate, you are a legend. You are, mate. You're a star. And you've got to look at the comments when, when, when you can and, and see I'll our... Uh, yeah, our have a look back at the live chat. But yeah. that's brilliant. And uh, and I'll message you later. But thank you yeah. so much for coming on, mate. No, thank you. All brilliant. right. Big wave to all your fans. <laughs> see, see you later, later Alfie. Bye. 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 <laughs> awesome. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. I've run out of whiskey. You don't have any more. You've had loads to drink tonight. I've had uh, one. Uh, Fabian, hello. Super chat from Fabian. Hello, Fabian. Uh, Fabian here, or Fabi. Fabian here. Hello. Fabian. I broke my collarbone. Oh, God, nasty. Oh, no. I don't understand the rest of it. Uh, so, something mess age with... with, with I think, he's been obviously drinking. I think he's on I the. I think Fabian's been drinking. I think he might have been drinking, but I think he might be on the tramadol as well. If he's uh, he's shot, if he's uh, probably yeah, it's drinking and tramadol. No, yeah. no wonder you're typing like that. Yeah. You all right? I don't know where that goes. Is it here? You don't usually have a problem finding the hole. There you go. Ah. <sighs> Uh, I thought that said Sharon, uh, fantastic Alfie, what a load, but no, it just says what a lad. <laughs> uh, I, Claudia's, I don't know, is that some sort of. It's a love, it's a heart. I, I thought it was origami or something. No, it's like a heart, that. loves okay. Alfie. Uh, Zombie Biker says, how lovely is Alfie? He's, yes, he is, isn't he? He's he is a, a lovely nice lad. lad isn't he? Uh, Lynn Mays, hello. I've never met anyone who has bought their own home by 19. I bought my home when I was 21. Well done. You was. 19, weren't you? 18. 18 when I yeah, bought Yeah, he was 18 house. when he bought his first house. Yeah. Uh, I thought you had a channel. He does have a channel. He does have a channel, he actually. A channel. I don't think he talks on there much. No, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Everybody's saying bye, Alfie. Bye, Alfie. Bye, Alfie. He's gone. He's gone. He's, he's already gone, but bye. Bye. Lovely young man. He is. Uh, just while we've got a second, I wanted to say thank you to... Mark. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure it didn't say anything controversial on there. Uh, Mark Paris, he bought us, he bought the chickens, some mealworms off Amazon. Thank you for that. Thank you. I keep forgetting to say thank you to people. I know. Uh, De Bambert says the legend that is Alfie Barlow. He is, Dave. You're going to have to excuse me because I am in absolute in agony at the moment. Is it hurting? It is really hurting. Ugh. That's shifting all those jars. Oh, that is hurting. Uh, I'm sure the it's not wind. I'm sure it's not wind. <laughs> not unless wind Trap can get, wind. Not unless wind can get there. Oh, Alfie is a cutie, says Dorothy Dotson. 
Uh, everybody needs an Alfie in their life, says Nico. They do. They do. He's a decent young man. They do. Uh, whiskey version 2.0 and lemonade version 2.0. I do like that lemonade, to be honest. Yes. Uh, we're going to be back in one second. Just give me a sec. <laughs> That doesn't help either. I'm just trying to get in a position. We're not playing Collins Bin again. I'm just trying to get in a position that doesn't hurt. That's all it is. Ugh. Right. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, I love the guest segment. Who is next? Oh, we don't know. I don't know. We, we haven't thought of one for next week yet. Well, I only we? asked him at like five to seven. Did you? <laughs> well, no, it's probably about six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get a heat pad on your. Oh, it's not my back, Nico. It's. Uh, I have this thing called, it's called an inguinal disruption. It's like a hernia, but it's not a hernia. But it gives the same sort of symptoms as a hernia. But it's like, if you imagine where the top of your leg is, and there's like a line that goes up to your back, it's like in there, and it's it's hurt. it hurts a lot. But He has got to have an operation. I've got to have an operation, but we, we've got to wait while after the wedding. Because mm. uh, the NHS won't do it. I have to have it done private, so we've got to wait while after the wedding. Bye, Alfie! Bye, Alfie! Uh, Fabian says, My phone on purpose gaps the words not drunk. <laughs> I never I never thought you were drunk. <laughs> I did. That was Sean, wasn't <laughs> it? Uh, Suzanne says, Same pain as gallstones, blooming terrible. Uh, mm. I've had that. Gall bladder gone. Uh, Alfie survived. He says, Thanks for having me on the show, guys. It was ace. It was ace, mate. <laughs> you can slow down on the cider now bless him I hope you weren't nervous I think he was nervous I think he was a bit nervous you're going to be fine yeah you'll be fine at the wedding mate you're going to be absolutely fine Nico wants to be a guest you could be a guest Nico uh, Simon says nice to see Alfie on Alive uh, so does Gwen I hope you don't mind me calling you Gwen now I just like these Gwen Guthrie yeah I just like these little nicknames uh, Nico says Alfie loves Alfie love for Alfie uh, Soul Life oh that sounds so you feel yeah it's a bit weird because it's like I went to see a specialist didn't I about how long ago about two three weeks ago yes in, in uh, Edinburgh in Edinburgh and it's it's it basically it started from being a PT for two for just basically doing too much uh, and it's kind of it's the same injury that football players get it's like right at the top of your leg but the pain kind of goes from the top of your leg and it, it kind of radiates out, so it goes all the way across your belly button. It makes you feel like you've got a tummy ache and, and into your back and into your side, and that's why they thought it was the kidney stones again. And and it just, whenever I do anything like like moving 3,000, well, no, 1,520 jars, yeah, because you did half yeah. as well. But it's, it's the positions you have to get into, isn't it, to lift the jars up and yeah. pick the jars up and put them back down and all sorts, but... yeah. Um, Aaron says, Mitch says he wants to be your next guest. <laughs> that would be fab. It probably would, wouldn't it? It would be absolutely fab. It would be funny, would that? Uh, Suzanne says, if you can get compression around it, it doesn't. Honestly, it doesn't. I've tried. Yeah, nothing it's works. Just, we've, uh, t uh, two years I've had this now. Uh, in fact, it's coming up to three, isn't it? It is, yes. And uh, that's why I had to go see this the, a private consultant. The NHS won't touch it, believe it or not. Crazy. Uh, so I've, I had to, I had to like raise a oh, couple, couple, uh, couple of hundred quid, and uh, I, the the only way is is just like a, it, it's not a big operation. Apparently, it's really quick to get over. It's only a couple of weeks to get over, and they just release it. They just release this this thing it's like a tendon. Yeah, it's a bit like a tendon, and they release it, and and then it gets better again. But uh, there's there's nothing that that can stop it. So I'll be all right. I'll be fine. I'll be fine in a couple of days. Uh, Katie, Katie, I have scoliosis. That's affecting my hips, trapping my sciatic nerve. It hurts Ooh. to sit down. I used to train people with scoliosis. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Uh, and lordosis, which is the one that where it curves uh, outwards instead of sideways. sideways. Uh, and and so I saw quite a few clients with, with uh, spinal problems. So I, I really understand what that pain feels like. So yeah. That's, yeah, that's what. not good, Katie. Mm. 
Uh, Alistair says, would Otis and Ollie be the next guests? <laughs> nah, you've seen them before. You've seen them loads of times. As he says about Alfie, lovely young man. He is a lovely young man. <laughs> Uh, Trish says, my husband says I could pass for a Gwen. <laughs> Gwen yeah. Guthrie, nothing going on but the rent. Yep. Uh, Alice is saying, you're one of a kind, Alfie. Brenda, thanks for having Alfie on tonight. There you go, you see. Uh, if I was Alfie, says Swiss Simon, I'd be scared to death about your wedding now. I would be dreading what everyone wants to do with me. They all just want to mother him. They just want to mother him. They just want to give him a hug. Yeah, he'll be absolutely fine. We've made sure that he'll be absolutely fine. He'll be looked after. Uh, so yeah, there's nothing to worry about there. What about a donut pillow? Mm, You'd eat it. Donuts. You would eat it. I do like donuts. He does like donuts. Uh, I was actually thinking... I don't think Scott is talking about those co co those type of donuts. I was actually thinking uh, at the wedding, and I don't like talking about the wedding because people go... Yeah, people you should go, do that. You should do this. You should do this. Uh, about... <laughs> <laughs> the do. About, they really do. Because the time that people arrive and then the time that people will be eating, there's quite a few hours between it. So yeah, I, and there's I, only canapes before, and that's not a lot. So what I was thinking is uh, a, a Krispy Kreme donuts opened up in Inverness a few months ago, and I was thinking about getting... A van load. A van, literally, <laughs> uh, ordering them, because you can order them, and then uh, get a taxi to go and pick them up and bring them to the castle for when the guests start arriving, so at least we've got something to nibble on. Uh, while we wait, sorry, I was thinking about Justin Bieber again. Though. Oh, we could send. Oh, we could just send a taxi to Morrison's in uh, in you know where. No, Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I nearly, I nearly said the village name. Then it would have given everything away. Thought it's not a secret anymore, though. I'll be your quest. Says quest. Maddie Brown. I think, I think he meant to write something else. Then uh, Alfie says, "I will use my brother as a distraction." <laughs> Yeah, you'll not be able to tell them apart anyway. They'll all mob your brother instead. Uh, Kelv, Ke uh, Kelvin and Kendall say, can we see Sherlock? You can. Uh, you got to, he's got to log on to his I, computer. I've, I've got to log on because he's it's still looking at our bedroom at the moment, which you don't want to see. I want to see that. Uh, Sherlock. There we go. Sherlock cam. Is it still light? I don't uh, know if it's still... Yes, it, it is. Wow, it is. It's still light. Yes, it's still light. Uh, so, there he is. He's actually on the floor. He's on the floor, look. He's on the floor. He's eating. Oh, no, he isn't. Yeah, he is. He's eating. Yep. He's, he's found something. Yeah, he's eating. Let's have a look, see what we can... You need get, rid, get rid of that sign there and you'll be able to see him better. There we go. Yeah, he's got something down there, hasn't he? Mm. Yep, he's got a chick there, hasn't he? I don't know what it is. What is it he's got? I don't know. That's nothing you've put in there. Has he caught something on his own? I think he might have done. <laughs> yeah. What's he eating? That's have... not you that's not what you've put in there. That's nothing I've put in there, no. Wow, I don't know what that is. You'd have to go and have a look. Oh we'll go and have to have a look what I... Well, good on him anyway, if yeah. he's caught some up. Free food. <laughs> uh, Suzanne says, Krispy Kreme, they are everywhere here. Yes, I know, they are. I know, but it's wedding day, isn't it? Yeah, it's wedding day. Spoil ourselves. Uh, Inver Coffee, you must try Perks Donuts and Coffee in Inverness. Well, if they can deliver 200 to the castle, yeah. we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, we might, yes. We'll look at that one. Uh, hello, Sherlock. Uh, I, I think it looks a bit big for a mouse. Yeah, it looks it? a bit big for a mouse, Nico. It looked more like a rat. I'm having a look at it on my screen. Well, yeah, yeah I think it's a bit big for a mouse because he's actually got some mice in there. Unless it's one of the chicks and he's pulled the fur off. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, I think it might be one of the chicks who's pulled the fur off. Mm. He's a wily owl. It looks like a pretty big catch. But the thing is, is how it got in there because there's no... Yeah, there's no way to get in there. Well, yeah, there is. Yeah. yeah, you can still get in there. Yeah, little rodents could still get in there. Uh, his chicks still in the Oh, he has several. He has about eight chicks and a couple of small mice a day. Yeah, so he does. It does look like a rat, uh, Dana. It does look like a rat. And I did put a rat in there the other day, so it might. Did you? Yeah, it might be. It might be that. Uh, did a bird get through the wire? So Suzanne, it might have done. Yeah, it's possible. He's enjoying it anyway. He's enjoying it anyway. He's eating it. <laughs> yep, he's enjoying that. 
Uh, you could make some balls as canapes. Oh, we've got we've got somebody making canapes. Oh, we've got we've got all that sorted. But we want we want. This is why we don't talk about it because people start saying you should have this and you should have this and you should have this. Unless you're gonna unless you're gonna bring like hundred crisp two hundred Krispy Kreme. Uh, oh Sherlock. Oh Sherlock. I'm trying to work out what I'm it is. I'm gonna go have a little refill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna let the dogs out. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Oh. Ooh. Sorry, yawning. Uh, you should have what you want, says Nico. Well, don't worry, we are. Oh, we are, Nico. <laughs> you know us. So, so life says, I always think our polytunnels critter proof, but mice always find a way in. Uh, yeah, yeah, the muse isn't critter proof. Uh, There's plenty of places for rats and mice to get in. There is. But just nowhere for Sherlock but to get out. But we don't see any rats around here, do we? No, not really. We don't see rats around here. No. That's, say, that's not saying they're, they're there, but... Mm. We never see them. Well, let me pull my trousers up before I turn around because you'll see something you shouldn't. Oh, my, my knees! We've all seen your knees. <laughs> Hello, boys. Come on, then. Do you want a refill, Colin? Uh, no, I'm all right, thank you. Uh, Phil Whelan, up in the northwest, we don't say rat, we say Jasper. Well, we're not up in the in the northeast. Up in the northeast, we don't say rat, we say Jasper. Oh, I, do, I get confused. I, I can never say the right thing. Whatever I say in life, I always get told off for saying the wrong thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Timothy says he's a wonderful owl, Sherlock. He is. He's, he's, he's devouring whatever that is. Sorry, <laughs> Looking at that, whatever it is, he's he's really enjoying it. Uh, have Sean build a donut wall, a board with dowel rods to hold the donut. Yeah, we've seen those. I think we put something on social media uh, that we'd actually seen something like that, uh, but I, I can't remember. Uh, it, there was a reason. It's just getting the donuts, to be honest, because the castle's quite a way away from any shops and. Uh, we haven't really got anybody free to go and collect them because it's like a, a, an hour's round trip to the nearest shop. So you can't get them fresh on the morning because everybody's got better things to do than be doing a donut run. And we don't want to get them the night before because obviously they'll not be fresh then for for the next day. So it's just it's just an idea, and honestly, it's not. Uh, right, can we? I, I know you're not going to like this, but can we uh, stop with the medication advice because it's not good and we're not supposed to be talking about that and it can actually get the video taken down uh, unless we delete the whole chat wall and we don't want to delete the whole chat wall because it can be quite entertaining, uh, but we can't be passing on medical advice on YouTube videos, so you need to stop that and if you can, please delete those comments or we'll have to delete them. Uh, it's not us being funny, it's just YouTube do not tolerate that. Uh, so please, please stop that uh, immediately, please, or we'll have to delete them. Uh, Sean says you don't see a lot of rats. Maybe they've wandered into Sherlock's space and he's taking care of them. We never saw a lot to be in the first place, to be honest. Uh, so, <coughs> so, uh, so no. Uh, I don't, I, there are I, there's rats everywhere, but we don't see them. We don't see them here. Uh, Suzanne says, "How about we bring the donuts with us on the bus in the morning?" Well, there's, there's a lot, we, and, and you've all got bags and stuff like that. Honestly, it's not that bad. We can get a taxi to pick them up if we wanted them. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine about the medication, but we, we you just need to stop that because it will get us into trouble, and and we don't want to stop that. Uh, wish we were I'm in. Back. Wish we were in Scotland. My husband could whip up the donut wall in a. It's it's all right. See, I wish I'd never mentioned it now because people are taking over again. <laughs> Stop. Otherwise, I'll play Sean's fat balls video again. No, don't, don't, no, don't play that again. Okay, I am sorry about this, but I'm going to have to start banning people. There's absolutely no excuse. <sighs> it's quite sad. And I'm sorry, but I did ask really nicely. And 
I am not. It's happening. I'm not going to risk the channel getting banned because people uh, are just going to be rude, to be honest, and and spoil it for everybody else. Uh, people passing on medical and medication advice. No, nope, that's not what we do on here. I asked nicely for them to stop, and they didn't stop, and then they started having a go at me for saying it, so they've gone now. Uh, talking of donuts, I remember that Simpsons Halloween episode where so so sold his soul for. I remember oh, good, that yes. one. Yeah. He sold it to <coughs> Millhouse. Uh, and I also remember the one... No, that was Homer. Homer sold his soul for a donut. But oh, the, yes. The, so, his soul was the property of Marge, and that's how she got it back. That's how that's he got right, it back. That's right, yes. Uh, Bart, Bart did sell his soul, but not for a donut. There was also a Halloween special, if I remember, where Homer had... A donut head. A donut head. That was brilliant. Uh, Aaron says that what was Sean making the other day in the workshop I'm sure I saw a short video of him making something you did are you happy now I'm going the wrong way are you happy? hang on there we go are you happy now Aaron oh, I'm going the wrong way then <laughs> Uh, Melanie says, evening red wine and pizzeria. Isn't Alfie Barlow lovely? He's a lovely lad, isn't he? He's a lovely lad. He's a lovely, lad. lovely young lad. He's a lovely lad. Oh, hang on. I've got my computer. No, I don't want to take a screenshot. Thank you. What are you planning to plant this year? Because Sean was on about his planters. Yes. There probably won't be a lot planted this year <laughs> because it'll, it'll probably be a bit late in the season by the time I get round to them because I've got to sort the chicken area out first. Aren't I? Mm. Which is, I'm going to start on Monday morning. Do you weather, still. F weather permitting. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, we're back to Kirsten Hunter. Sorry. Why are you playing? Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, like I said. Weather permitting, I'll be starting it on Monday with the uh, chicken area, and then when that's done, I'll be doing the planters. Sorry, sorry, are we finished? We are, We're finished. finished. Uh, Linda, Linda Whiteside says, uh, do you still see the badgers? We do. We do. Uh, there was a post the other day about them. Uh, that, that loads of them. Uh, I'm moving the cameras about to try and get different different. Yeah, the family on. has grown. Mm. Uh, Brian says, do you have a problem with the squires eating the bird food and balls? <laughs> There's not many squires around here. If you mean squirrels, we don't no, we see do. a we do have them, but we do have them, but we don't see a lot of them, do we? Yeah. Uh, donuts and pizza now. I'm hungry. Says <laughs> yes, Lynn. Me too. Uh, Suzanne says, uh, "Sean, your beef, but your beef beef burger." I thought you were going to say something else. Beef feeder. No. Beef curtains. Yes. Ah, that's getting boring. We need a new beef curtains. We do. We need what's something. A, what's new. another word that's as funny as beef curtains? But there it's isn't. Not beef curtains. I wish we could play we'll, the clip from Benedict. We'll find it. Your bird feeder's amazing. That's what I meant to say. Uh, thank you, oh, thank you, Mrs. Bruchetta. That's what she meant to say, anyway. Uh, that slow mo of the swinging balls in the cage is making me laugh every time. No, wrong way. No, yeah, that way. That's it. Yeah. I sometimes, I sometimes think I'm in the twilight zone when I'm doing these. It should videos. be in my head. <laughs> it is like what. No, you should be in my... It's like... Uh, what's that thing called? It's like a freak show at the circus and a carnival. But, yeah, it's called freak show. But, like, you know The Greatest Showman? Yeah. So, like, the biggest song that they do... Yeah. Yeah, but, like, a, a billion people around watching and all clapping and cheering and all doing their... And, like, thousands of performers all doing stuff. That's in my, that's my head all the time. Oh, my God. All the time. And it's just, like, stuff going on. And I can just kind of pick this all this freaky, funny stuff, and it's brilliant sometimes. I know a man that's probably like that. Who? Him there. Him? Yeah. The and painted the, man tattoo. And then every now and then, the whole place will go completely quiet, and all the performers will just turn into demons. And yeah. it's all black and horrible. Yes. But not tonight. Not tonight. We're all right tonight. Uh, so, yeah, Brenda, uh, the slow-mo of the swinging cage is making me laugh every time. Uh, Nico says, "I done my breasts the other, I done my beans the other day on a hotbed in the. Gee, she she would she won't want her breasts on a hotbed, would she? What's a hotbed? Is it like a sunbed? Yes. I want to go on a sunbed before the wedding. I want yeah on the hotbed. It's it's just basically warm so that it uh, 
It draws the beans to make them grow. Ah, right, okay. Well done, but don't put your breasts on there. Uh, Painted Man, uh, we should start measuring things based on how many donuts you can put on them. I think you and Colin should discuss that tomorrow night when we have our Chinese takeaway. Don't you think? I bet I could get a good half a dozen. <laughs> I bet I could. I don't think you'd want to join in with that. Even more when it's hard. He starts these things. No, he started it. Sean's sister. Justin. Sean's sister should be a guest. Now, the thing is, if we put Sean's sister on as a guest, we wouldn't need the microphones, would we? Basically, just open the window and they can shout at each other from Yorkshire and Scotland. That's, yeah. No, no she's just improved since she's got hearing aids. So, life, if you want an easy hack and you're busy, we have just had a few good crops from self wicking beds. Easy way to use all that wood up. Ah, yes. Uh, I've, I've, I've only got a tiny little bit left. I've, I've got to get a little bit more to build myself a brand new honesty box. Uh, As he says, will you get any goats? We'd love goats. I think we'd have to have pygmy goats. We'd have to have pygmy goats, but mm. we'd, have to, we'd have to fence things in properly because, yeah, things mm. have gone a bit mad round here mm. with goats. <laughs> Uh, Nico fancies some blue waffles. There you go. Blue there you waffles. go. You got some blue waffles. Blue there. waffles. I don't know what's funny about blue waffles, but there you go. <laughs> I think the Smurfs eat them, don't they? I think they do. Uh, belt a bird table. Thank you. Thank you, Sue and Kev. You're a dad. It's my fag hag. Corin Corin Hansen New Hansen. Blimey! Can you get a bloody name that I can say? Corin Hansen New. Hansen New. Hansen. Hansen New. We have a cheeky squirrel taking the seeds out of our feeders most days. Yeah, they do do that, don't they? <laughs> mm. we've, we've had a load of um, finches and tits and all sorts on our bird feeder so far, don't we? Bird tits. Nice pecker. I saw a nice pecker today. <laughs> yeah. And then I went down to the beach and a nice shag down there as well on the beach. <laughs> How about moist flange as a new catch? I don't like moist. No, I'm not. Flange is like... a good word, Simon. Uh, pork sword. Pork no, sword. I'm not, not keen on that. Uh, the twiglet zone. <laughs> bacon, bacon flaps. <laughs> I there like that, Bob. Uh, James says, grey or red squirrels? Red are rare most. We're mostly grey, but we do have some red we squirrels, do have red up, squirrels here, up here. Especially in yes. the forests. Yeah. Uh, Colin, we love what is in your head. <laughs> <laughs> you do today. Uh, Just today. Phil says, did you catch the northern lights? Uh, no, it, it was either too cloudy or too windy or yeah. just the wrong time of day. Yeah. And, and you, the... you could see them further north in Kate Ness, couldn't you? Yeah, Alf is, Alf is well he's, gone. He's, he's laughing at something. He probably doesn't even realise what he's pressing now. <laughs> uh, Stuart wants to know, uh, Nico, are they a bit tender after being on the hotbed? <laughs> uh, Tina grows anti-burp cucumbers. Anti-burp? Yeah, Nico wants to know that. Well, how are they anti-burp? Uh, that's I've never ever heard of that before. No, or are no. you just taking the Mickey? Yeah. Uh, Contura says I've just had an advert in a different language. Really? It might have been Northern Irish or Canadian. Northern Irish is or English. American. Unless they're speak, speaking Gaelic. I don't know. I don't. We don't have any say. In, no, we don't in actually. What buttons get pressed? I or, think we should make his own adverts to put on it. What you see? Can we make his own adverts to put on it? We for, could for us jam and as marmalades we, and honey. We actually could, couldn't we? Yeah. Who would we have to star in our adverts to sell our mum? Who? What celebrity? What celebrity kind of screams marmalade to you? Do you think Dustin G is he still alive? <laughs> I have no idea. No, I don't think. I think Dustin G died a few years I ago. I think he might have done. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't the, know. These are these are these are usually good at things like this. No, they're usually good at telling us what to do. <laughs> uh, pickle spear. I, I like that one. It sounds like it's pickle spear. Sounds like a chewing gum, though, doesn't it? It sounds rather rude, Scott. It's supposed to be rude because that's what we're asking for. <laughs> uh, Suzanne says that uh, we have bears that help themselves to the bird feeders here. Yes. What you mean, like pull them out of the ground and walk off with them? Yeah, they're big enough, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody on Facebook said that 
uh, today as well. Yeah. It might have been you, I don't know. Goldie says the magpies eat my balls. That must that must hurt. Uh, as he says, you can't beat a pecker. You uh, can't. Beef bayonet. Oh, no, that sounds hurty, doesn't it? Uh, badly packed kebab. Oh, Sharon. Talking about my <laughs> mum again. I'm surprised you... I think we should look at their wedding invitation. I think, yeah. Move them up a table. Move them up a table, yeah, closer <laughs> to the door. <laughs> Try saying both our names, Colin and Corin Hanson New. Now, what I did it that time. Well, you did it that time. Radio presenter head came is, on. Is, we, did, did, Colin, is it your full name or did you do what me and Colin did and take both surnames? I'm not bored, I'm just very tired. Huh? Because we took each other's surname and made Dobson Fox. Mm. Is that what Hanson knew is? I think, I think we should confuse everybody at the wedding and create a new surname. Create a new surname? What yeah. to? I don't know. Summer Curtains. <laughs> Sean Leslie Beef. Do you take Colin Dobson Curtains <laughs> to be your lawfully wedded husband? Oh God! Colin and Sean. I thought, Be- we'd, I thought we'd stopped now with the beef curtains. Colin and Sean beef curtains. I now pronounce you husband and. What do you want to be? Husband and husband. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Doc Cotton. Uh, on the Isle of Wight, we only have red squirrels, says Dave Greenwood. Good. Uh, uh, I says Charlotte as well. Charlotte Icon says, luckily we only have red squirrels on there. I wonder oh, if they know each- you from the Isle of Wight. Do you know each other? Do you know... Because people ask us that, don't they? They say to us sometimes in co oh, I didn't know you were into bums. Our our Liam's a, a woofter as well. Do you know him? He lives in Bristol. <laughs> no, we do get that, don't we? You do, we do, we, actually. We do get that. Oh, yeah. my son's gay. Do you know him? Yeah. You think, what? Uh, so, de- de- we'll get into trouble for that. Yeah, we will. Because uh, we, we... What is it called now? Hate speech. No, it's not... Well, no, there's nothing hating about No, that. but that's what it's classed under. That's not, no, we're not hating any... Well, we're not... Even, no, we're not hating Liam in Bristol either. No, we're we, not. Really? We're taking the mickey out of ourselves. Yeah, that's not hate. I'm going to report you. That's hate speech. It's a new law in Scotland. We knew about hay speech on Foxes Afloat Channel six years ago, didn't we? we? Did. Because we decided that we're not allowed to talk about our opinions, are we? That's right. <laughs> we did. Uh, Alfie for the ads, Dave. Alfie teaser. for the ads. I don't know. He doesn't. He doesn't scream marmalade. He, he kind of screams. I don't know. <coughs> did Dick Insider? <coughs> don't he? <coughs> what? You all right? Oh, that burns when you cider burns you back at the throat when you do that. Uh, sorry, whiskey. Christopher Biggins, says Sandra Hughes. Oh, that would be awesome. Paddington. 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 Now, Unfortunately, we haven't got the money to pay for it to be uh, drawn. No. Uh, Justin Bieber. Well, We haven't got Justin Bieber money either. Well, like I said before, you never know where it might work for. Tea, coffee, biscuits, friction. Favours. Uh, I'd love to star in your advert. Oh, Raheem. There you go. The, the scarf. Raheem could do it. The scarf sells it for us, doesn't it? Yeah. Really. Uh, Lynn says, what about bush tomatoes? They are nicknamed E-number tomatoes because they are bright red and very sweet. I will be growing some uh, tomatoes, uh, Lynn. Mm. Uh, but not sure which, bri- bri- which brand yet. Mm. Uh, Lady of the Trillium says, you should get Ewan McGregor. To do your ads, I love his voice. He has got a good voice, he a has. good Scottish voice. He has, hasn't he? I don't think he. I think he screams more beef rather than marmalade, though. He'd be good at advertising venison. He would actually. Yeah, yes, he? he would. Yeah, uh, Alistair Holmes and Nico are laughing. They're at laughing something. at something. I don't know. Uh, Dame Edna Everidge to do your ads. He's dead. We'd have to dig her up first, yeah, wouldn't we? She's dead. Uh, Dustin G died third of January, nineteen eighty-six. That far? That far back? Well, we're not having him then, are we? To be honest. <laughs> I didn't realise. Yeah. Uh, do you think if grey and red squirrels get it on, squiggles, uh, you'd get mucky pink ones? You've had a few mucky pink ones in your time, haven't you? Yeah, especially when you were in Navy. <laughs> yeah, not denying it, though. Justin, is it? you like him. Your mind's just not right. No, no. Our minds are perfectly focused. It's you lot that are a mile behind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've just cracked my head then. Did you? Mm. 
Chip King, is the date you both took each other at the Tunnel of Love? I didn't take him in the Tunnel of Love. He noshed me off on the Big Dipper. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Can you imagine the Big Dicker? You can bite it off. Well, there is an inch missing. Purple tomatoes are stunning, says Nico. Yes, says I've, Nico. I've heard that. I've heard that. I might grow some purple tomatoes because you can have purple carrots as well. Purple tomatoes are stunning. Are you be? She been rude. I, I, because yeah. there are purple tomatoes. There are purple tomatoes. I, yeah, there are purple tomatoes and purple carrots. But I'm just thinking that nothing compares to how red my cock head is. That is red, isn't it? That is proper red. That is proper red. Nico started it. Uh, grown coal rabbi is a nice small vegetable. We had some fun with some miniature carrots and kumquats once. Do you remember? <laughs> Can you remember that? No. Don't you remember? We bought a dozen kumquats and by the end of that game there were only nine. We could only find nine. Three disappeared. Two disappeared. I have got no idea what you're talking about. You, you had had Is a, this just in your mind? No, you had had a lot no, to drink. No, it's your mind. You had had a lot to drink. Well, Alfie's back again, look. Uh, Tony, well, of course he is, because he's not on camera anymore now. Uh, Alfie says, if I had too much dick inside her, I could scream it. There you go. <gasps> Colin, your hair is wavy today. It needs a spring shearing. It, will you have it cut next week? He's growing it a little bit, though. I am growing it a little bit, don't you know? Uh, Tony Blackburn. Oh, I'd love Tony Blackburn uh, to do it. Rod, Rod Stewart seems like a marmalade man. He does, actually, yes. Big Fox is a float fan. Uh, Lynn Mays need a deep, gravelly-voiced marmalade advertising person. No, I, no I, do, yeah, I see, I don't think so. I think it needs some sort of soft lady. I know, Joanna Lumley. She'd be good. Wouldn't she? Because it's like she's got a nice, velvety, mature, smooth voice. Yeah, Joanna Lumley. Get on phone. Get on phone. Uh, Nico says, noshed, my favourite word ever. People liking nosh, you yeah. see. In the coffee, have you seen what he's put? No, uh, where is he? Plenty of mucky pink ones offshore. I bet there is, I mate. I bet there is on them rigs. Oh. <laughs> I've... I, 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 all oh, right, so Dave and Charlotte do know each other. They're actually engaged and getting married in November. Oh, brilliant. Oh, brilliant, isn't it? Awesome. Just after us. Brilliant. Yes. Thank you. Purple carrots are nice, says Nico. I've never tasted them, but I want to. Uh, Brian Blessed would be a good shout. Oh, yes, he's AC. He? Is he's he brilliant. not dead? Is he not dead yet? No, he's not. Uh, Claudia says, Dave and Charlotte, congratulations. Oh, yes, Joanna Lumley. Uh, she wouldn't do it, says Fluffy Bunny. How do you know, unless you're Joanna Lumley? Yes. Are we, you Joanna Lumley? We do. You might not believe this, but this is true. As much as my left hand is touching something you shouldn't be seeing, we do have a lot of famous people. Watch these We vlogs do, actually, yes. And use fake names, don't we? We do. We, we actually do. And we not, know because they've told us. Not just Edwina Curry, but... <laughs> but you know, Edwina Curry uses her own name. We, we have... We have I, I could mention two names and you'd go... Oh, really? Wouldn't the wood. Yeah. But we're not. Well, till they lose the election and then... Uh, I think Fran would be great. Fran would be good, actually. I think she might sound a bit bossy. Fran's not bossy. No, but I think if she's trying to sell summer, I'd be like, yes, Fran. Do you know what I mean? No, not I think Fra no, Fran wouldn't be bossy. She does it well when she's doing her own weavings and stuff, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, she forced us into modelling outside her boat, didn't she? At Devil's yes. Garden. Well, she did force us. Well, I'm sorry, but my Chinese burn disagrees. <laughs> Fluffy Bunny is Joanna Lumley. I am. And she says, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> Boris. Brilliant. Miriam Margulet, I would love. Oh, God, she's ace. I would love to have a dinner party and she, invite Miriam Margulies. Brilliant, because she's got no filter. Yeah, 
She's brilliant. Helen Mirren. Uh, I don't know. <coughs> she comes across as a bit pay me now. I would like, talking of women actors, now M would be good. Mm -hmm. Judy Dench. Mm -hmm. uh, Alistair Hull says, my dad and I have been watching Gary Caption Phillips YouTube channel. It was very good. Caption, she put caption as I know, well. I know, I know. It is very good. It's, yeah. it's awesome, is Gary. I know, I know. I know. But this Gary isn't this isn't that. This is foxes afloat. <laughs> <laughs> that was all right two week ago, but we've moved on now. <laughs> Brian Blessed says Dave Greenwood. Yeah, he would be good. It would be good, Dave. Uh, Christine Harmon says hi, handsome bloke. Sorry, I fell asleep. Oh, but we're that good. Oh, I hope you feel rested now, love. Well, we're that good. Mm. Uh, Dench would lapse into when I played Shakespeare stories. Yeah, yeah, I, I can believe that. When I played, like, mm. like, she, like she's... Yeah. Mm. Uh, Kirsten Hunter says, thanks for the chuckle, guys. It's back to doing taxes. Oh. Oh, God, yeah, I hate yeah, that. We have to do that every year as well. First two weeks of January, I I'd, kind of hold myself up in here. And get on with that. Get his tax returns done. Uh, Kathy Burke's Wayne Etter. Morgan Freeman. I like Morgan Freeman's voice. Peter Sullivan. Dopamine. I have no idea who that I is. Have not. Olivia Coleman. I like Olivia know, Coleman. Do you know what As Olivia, the Queen? Do you know what Olivia Coleman's favourite word is? Yes. I saw it on a on yeah, a real. Yeah, I, know, the I other saw day. it on a real. You can. We cannot say it on. Here. Yeah, we cannot say it on here. Rhymes with runt. Uh, Kathy Burke is a lot of fun. She would be an awesome call. She is my mate's godmother. Really? I do like Kathy Burke. She's funny. Mm, I do. Julie Andrews, is she not dead? I think she's got... I don't know. Uh, Susan Calmer, she's a bit too... Who's can, Susan Calmer? She's that uh, short Scottish lady that does Bank of Scotland adverts. Oh, yes. No, she's a bit... Serious. Mm. Uh, Damien says charity shop Sue would be hilarious. I don't know who that is. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you are great. I jumped on late because I fell asleep. Oh. Sorry. Uh, Nico says uh, she'll do it. Uh, oh, go on then. I'll do it. Go on. James, uh, uh, I, I, we do love Miriam Margulies. She's brilliant, is Mir Miriam Margulies. I love watching reels. I like it when she's. I like the reels come up that when she's on Graham Norton because she makes some funny stories. I wonder if she'll do a video message for us. She probably would. She probably would, wouldn't she? I might have to bleep it out a little bit. Mm. I'm going to see if she'll do us a video message. Shall I see if she'll do us a video message? Mm. Uh, Dawn French. Uh, Sean, you might remember, but Colin is too young. Brian Blessed started off on Z Cars. Did he really? I, I, I do remember Z Cars. Uh, but I, you know, duh, 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 duh. yeah, I, I do remember Z Cars, but I don't remember Brian Blessed, Brian Blessed back then. Is that Zed Cars? No. I don't think so. Yeah. I have got absolutely no idea. Yes. That, I remember that bit. That's, what, that's Zed Cars. See how good I am? Yeah. Finding these clips like that. Shamazing. Oh, it's, you found it all then from last week? Yeah, you I found it, it all last week. I found it all, yeah. Uh, I love her so much. A book is out of this world. Miriam on this morning had me laughing. So she is brilliant. She is her. brilliant. Uh, Evelyn says Susan Calman on QI hilarious, not serious. So, yeah, but for selling marmalade, it's a bit different. A little bit different. Homer Simpson would be great. He would. He, he would actually. He would. Thomas. Uh, Brian Blessed was a policeman in Z Cars. I didn't realise that. Mm. I absolutely didn't realise that. Uh, Susan Milliken. Do you think? Do you mean Sarah Milliken? Sarah Milliken. Uh, Alfie Barlow says, you should do it. Miriam Margulies is hilarious. He, yes, he, yes, she is, Alfie. Mm, that would be good. Al Homer Simpson would be good, wouldn't it? Mmm, marmalade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lorraine Kelly. Lorraine Kelly, a good Scottish lady. She, she can be bossy, I've heard. Really? Yeah, I've heard she can be bossy. 
Uh, a friend of mine is very good friends with the Baldwin. Ooh, Mike. Mike, but no, not Alec Baldwin. All right. Really? Including Haley and her husband, Justin. Yes, it's the uh, Alec Baldwin family. Uh, Gwen says the Proclaimers. Oh, that would be awesome. Real deep Scottish accent. Uh, t <laughs> Thomas Schaffernacker. <laughs> Thomas Schaffernacker. We know a story about Thomas yeah, Schaffernacker. Yeah, Colin's met him. We know a story about Thomas Schaffernacker. Otis has met Thomas. Yes. Uh, we Jimmy Cranky. No, it's I not think we. It's not it's not so we anymore. She, she's, get, she's she's she's. I don't think the we should. I played him as an old lady. Yeah, I don't think we should talk about him because apparently she's been really upset since her husband got arrested last week. <laughs> uh, Paddington Bear for the Marmalade. That would be awesome. That would job. Would run it. Sue Perkins. Did you see Miriam Magley's in the Lives and Loves of a She Devil? No, didn't see that. No. I've seen her plenty. I've seen plenty of her on Graham Norton show, and she's very funny on there. How about Sam? I'm getting bored with this. Can we change the conversation? Now? I'm, getting, <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting a bit bored with it now. Oh, someone's set Nico off again. I am getting a bit bored. Let's let's talk about what, something else. What's she laughing at now? I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Yeah, now? we can talk about something. Have we got anything to show them? Uh, I don't know. I think I've gone through everything. I've I've got them. We've got what's in Collins' bin. Have we, have we show? Did you know that the people on the outro of What's in Collins Bin are the same people as the intro but doing different things? Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you know that? I bet you didn't, did you? If you watched the beginning of What's in Collins Bin... <laughs> see, see how the monkey smiles and then watch what he does on the outro. <laughs> see, he kind of licks his lips a little bit. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. And most of them walk what around. What are you doing? Most of them walk around the other way. And there is a bit, and I shouldn't really tell you this because this this will get into trouble. Uh, let me just get rid of that. There is a little bit of it where if you pause it, and I didn't know this until after, and I just thought, I better check that because that actually don't look quite right. And, and you can do this. I'm not going to do this. But there, there is a little bit. God. I thought I ought to check that because that looks a bit wrong. And you so, said you do, you couldn't do it, but you went and did it. I know, but <laughs> I know. Have we got anything else to show them apart from that? I'm gonna have jingle. To, I'm gonna have to edit that out, aren't I, next week? Oh dear me! Yeah, I know. That's that's Even, a bit yeah, bad. Is that? Alfie? Oh my god! I know. Oh dear. Right, on that note, I think we're going to wrap this up. I, oh, I, we've been on two hours already. I really need to go and get some painkillers. Yeah, you do, don't you? Uh, so uh, so I'm going to wrap that up. Uh, yeah, the guy in the skirt is a cheeky monkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, pro you probably won't see him next week. You'll probably see somebody else dancing in there next week. Have we got any tickets to release? Or are they all done? Uh, no wedding tickets uh, at the moment. I will let you know if you're after wedding tickets. Uh, just email us or get on social media. Uh, and I'll let you know, yes, he does need a shave, Lou. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, it's been lovely, as always. Yes. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, we will see you next weekend. So the will. What? The will. Are you all right? I am. I you how much you had to drink. Oh, enough. Take care of yourself. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> no, you got to keep smiling until they've gone. Jesus Christ, how long does this take? <laughs> I can't hold this smile for much longer. <laughs> Come on, for fuck's sake. <laughs> God. Oh, this is painful. Don't swear again. I'm not going to swear again. Just go.
We can't go until you've gone. 